you have to put that dogma of western supremacy on the table and discuss it and unless you discuss it you cannot fight it so the important thing is that formal man prohibits facts and says that is superior and calls it reasoning all right so you put it on the table and once you put that supremacist dogma on the table and make it open to academic discussion and once you force the discussion i think half the battle is won so let's take a claim from the class 9 indian school text it says greeks did dormitory in a way which was superior to all others so it says babylon they did very geometric practical in india rome and egyptians mainly consisted of statements of uh, results and they used geometry only for practical purpose and did not develop it as a systematic science these chaps coming so many thousands of years later so now they say in civilizations like greece the emphasis was on reasoning sounds plausible to the student the greeks were interested in establishing the truth of the statements they discovered by using deductive reasoning appendix 1 is about mathematical proof all right so everybody else the whole world was inferior what they did in geometry was inferior greeks did something superior and that is what the west does right that's the point whole point of the euclid story is to assert that greeks did a superior math which the west does today and which are, which us us all to imitate the first point to note very important point which people forget if you have a superior and an inferior math there must be at least two types of math very important don't confound it one with the other so that's a, a standard sophistry i'll come to so formal math is done by the west since 20th century and supposedly done by perverted early greeks is not done by any greeks complete nonsense to say that and normal math has traditionally done by the rest of the world for thousands of years so there are two types why is this formal math superior so because they say okay it alone uses reasoning that's just a blatant lie right deductive reasoning is found in uh, math uh, from in the indian nyay sutra talks about uh, reasoning as a second means of proof it just this four means of proofs all right now this sanskrit maybe you don't know let me how these proofs are used so what are those words pratyaksha is empirical proof and this is an example from math uh, from ganit 13 aryabhatta anuman which is inference deductive inference so indian proof of pythagorean theorem and so on and analogy and shabd authority when you don't know you ask authority all right so those are the four means of proof which are listed there and deductive inference is one of them all right and a striking striking example of the use of deduction in math is the inference by aryabhatta that the earth is round round like a kadam flower this is a kadam flower so this is fifth century so he deduces it he didn't go out to space to see it and uh, the point is that greeks did not use math i'm just quoting from plato uh, sorry not the republic directly i want to he says see what he says i have hardly ever known a mathematician who could reason So Greeks had reason, but they didn't claim that mathematicians use reasoning. School text claims it. Of course, school text must be right. This is primary source. I have just opened Plato's Republic. You can search for this phrase in Plato's Republic. It's available online. And uh, school text must be right, and Plato must be wrong. Original text must be false. 